Alrighty, welcome to another 4-on-4 four four cube drift. We are so back here, and uh, ooh, we opened a Flash. I think Flash is one of the better cards to start on. Urza Saga, also great. They're both very good, but I really love pick one in Flash. You can just get a lot of cards that aren't very like high picks for other people, like World Spine Worm, become just incredible for you. So I'm going to take Flash, pass an Urza Saga to Stefan, the recent Mox champion, mental misstep here. And there's also a Copter, an Othari, a Wheel, Counterspell. It's a pretty strong pack, but uh, I might get the Balrog of Moria back. and Or Trumpet and Carnosaur. And both of those work pretty nicely with Flash here. Second pick. Oh, is it time to go big? There's a Eureka here and a Smuggler Surprise. We could just full-on go Flash here. So I think maybe I just take... The thing is, Eureka always wheels, so does Smuggler Surprise. I could also just take Brazen Borrower and then wheel the Eureka and not worry about the Smuggler Surprise. Would I, I think I might rather have that because Brazen Borrower is also pretty good with Eureka and it's just a much better card. So I would be shocked if Eureka didn't wheel. I think Uro, Goldspan, Skyclave, Cradle, Hexdrinker, Gadgeteer, Brutality, Gemstone Caverns are all picks over it. But I'm going to take the Brazen Borrower here and then... There's Triplicate Titan and Thieving Skydiver, and once again, I think I'll just take the Skydiver. I think Triplicate Titan is fine. It's a kind of like third tier Flash animate sneak target, but I'm not going to feel too bad if I don't have it. I could also take Xander's Lounge. Maybe that's better because I guess I'm going to want Sneak and Tutors. Actually, yeah, let's just take Xander's Lounge here and see what else transpires. Now there's a Fast Bond, which is a good card, but not very close to what we're doing. There is Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb is really good if you have Through the Breach sneak attack in your deck. All right. I guess I'm happy enough taking Ancient Tomb, passing on a Rafine's Tower. Picking up Xander's Lounge makes me a lot less inclined to want Rafine's Tower, and I don't think I'm going to miss Talisman or Ballista or anything like that. Also, Ancient Tomb, I think, just one of the best cards in that pack. This pack has a Lightning Bolt and a Gorio's Vengeance. Hmm. I kind of want to just take Lightning Bolt. I think that we've also got a start that could be blue-red tempo with Flash as a smaller part of it, which is also a fine place to be. And I think that's enough better than just taking Agorios this early. There's also Echo of Eons and Brainstorm and Spire Bluff here. There's a lot of solid blue and red cards. Oh, there's Gristlebrand. All right, well, that kind of makes me wish I took the Agorios, but I'll still take Gristlebrand because I think, well, well, I was going to say, I think Breach and Sneak could be the way we're going. There's also Nexus here, but there's also an Emberwild Captain. I have a really good setup for Emberwild Captain. Ancient Tomb and Lightning Bolt go really nicely into that. Let's just do that and just kind of hedge a little bit. I still think this deck can be a really good Flash deck, but I feel like we have actually, besides the first pick Flash, every other card is perfect for kind of like a blue-red tempo deck, and I, I feel like if those decks are open, they're a pretty good idea to go into. All right, and here, yeah, there's a Malcolm. There's also Bobble, Metamore for fine. Bonehorde Draxor is a pretty good card, but Malcolm is really good with the captain stuff, and it, it could be good if I end up wanting to animate things. Like, this deck could also end up being a, have a reanimator aspect to it. The Eureka and Smuggler Surprise are not looking very viable at the at this point. The direction I've gone has not lent itself to those. Uh, here there's Cryptic Command, Blood Tithe, K Command, Creeping Tar Pit. I do love a Once Upon a Time, but I don't think I'm supposed to take it here. Tar Pit could open the door to Splashing Black, or I could take one of these two black cards. I do like K Command with a lot of the stuff I have. I think I'll just do that. I find that tap lands, there's a lot of tap lands in the cube now but with the Surveil lands and the Triomes. So as much as I do like Creeping Tar Pit, it's, it's a little bit lower of a priority than uh, those cards used to be. All right, so Carnosaur Wield, interesting. Um, let's see, what do we want? I think it's actually Generous Plunder. It's really a really good tempo card. I've actually found this to be a really great little aggressive card, and Blue Red Aggro looks like it's quite open here. So, yeah, let's take the Plunder, pass on... Chromatic Star, Zeator's Proving Ground. I think that that works out fine. And you know what? I first picked this Flash, and Flash is not uh, <laughs> not coming together. That's okay. It can be a smaller part of the package here. The main thing I did is I took Emberwild Captain over Gristlebrand, but the rest of the picks, it's not like I was passing on any of the Sneak, Breach, Flash kind of skeleton. So 
it, again, it's possible I get this card in, especially with enough card draw, you can play it pretty easily. Yeah, Smuggler Surprise and Eureka both wield. So did Cradle and Uro. Mm, at this point, I think I'm on Gemstone Caverns, though. I don't think I want any of these green cards, so I'll take Gemstone Caverns. Maybe, maybe this card will be good in this deck. I mean, it's good with all these cards. On the draw, Gemstone Cavern, turn one, Generous Plunder, turn two, Ember Wild is pretty strong. And here we've got a bunch of white cards and Sir Ginger and Bolsa Citadel. Let's just take Sir Ginger. It's a good card with Ancient Tomb. Oh, wow. Ballista <clears throat> is nice with Sir Ginger. Decent with Ancient Tomb. I don't think I want Figure of Destiny because I'll end up with too many blue sources. Let's just take the Ballista. And then now, honestly, I could just take Legion Extruder. I think at this point the Flash is not looking very viable. And here I think I take Shadow Spear. And the reason is I've actually got inroads into artifacts, which is not right, really where I ended up or expected to end up. <laughs> Wish I took Saga over Flash here. Oh, hold on. Luris check. The Luris check. So I'd have to give up Ember Wild Captain and Brazen Borrower, but that's it. And then this Flash wouldn't do anything, but I think the Flash at this point, that ship has sailed. Yeah, I, I'm willing to give up those two cards. Because these cards all work really nicely with Luris, including Legion Extruder and K-Command to get it back. Yeah, <laughs> we're a Luris deck. I did not anticipate this. Really wish I took that Urza Saga now, but that's just hindsight. That no, Nothing else. I, I'm not too worried. There's also Mana Leak, and Mana Leak's an excellent card. But I think Luris is just busted. So I'm going to take Luris, and then I'm going to take Reanimate to go with it. Reanimate looking excellent here. Could have also taken Gut. If I'd have taken Mana Leak, I would have just taken Gut. It would have been a really good Gut deck as well with a Retrofitter and Magda in the pack. But I'm going to take Reanimate here. <laughs> now there's a Troxa and Archon. Uh, or no Luris card in the pack. This is this is, this is is just brutal. Um, Hold on. I have this Flash and I have Reanimate. Is there a chance I'm supposed to just Atroxa here? What a weird switch. I could also take Celestial Colonnade. You know what? That's way too weak. I think I'm going to take Atroxa. And I'll either be Atroxa or Luris Flash. We'll see what comes next. So now there's Mystical Tutor for the Flash part. Or there's like Unearth for Luris. Yeah, I think we're back on the, on the Flash plan. Maybe I'll play Luris in my deck and that's fine. But getting Reanimate into Atroxa after having this flash having flash mystical reanimate is just so good all right well <laughs> both times I've, I've had these like big pivotal decisions it's like i've gone down what ended up being the wrong path i i still stand by the the pick one pack one flash i think i'd take flash over saga most of the time i just think the cards that make flash good are lower picks for the rest of the table than the cards that make saga good you're not getting past moxes or you know cards like that very often so to make saga great it's just funny how this worked out. Yeah, now I think I take Oliphant. Look, I would have had him rather had a mana leak than this Luris. I might still play the Luris, might not. You know, this Shadow Spear is not looking that great either. But here I'm going to take Oliphant over... I mean, there's no Luris cards in these packs, which is another thing that goes into it. But hey, you know what? Sometimes sometimes you got to switch things up. You got to... You have to adjust to what... You know, you got to play from where you are, not where you wish you, you would have been. Yes, I wish I would have taken Urza Saga or taken Mana Leak, but here's the here's the draft I have, and I still think it was right to take Atroxa at the point which I took it. And then now, well, I think I want Force of Negation either way. That card is awesome. Over Fabled Passage, an Unmarked Grave doesn't really help this deck. Flame Tongue's also good, but I think Force of Negation is better. I don't think I'm doing... I, I thought I might have like slight inroads into the artifact theme with like Ballista, Extruder, the Shadow Spear, but I don't think that's happening now. Mm, now I've got Dark Slick Shores versus Black Cleave Cliffs versus Pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis is also a really strong card. I love my free spells, but I do have Bolt, Ballista, Legion Extruder. I have a bunch of like shocks, so I kind of feel like I should just take... I guess a red black land or a blue black land. I don't know. I guess Oliphant goes and gets red, so I'll take Dark Six Shores here. Now I think I'll take Bone Shards as another discard outlet. And then Firestorm Wield, sort of Overgrown Tomb. There's also Show and Tell. I mean, Show and Tell is pretty nice with Mystical Tutor. I guess I already have Flash for that, but. I don't think Overgrown Tomb is going to be super necessary. It is nice at casting Atroxa, but this is not looking like a very much of a casting Atroxa deck. 
And then here I still will take Fairy Mastermind over Grist. And Grave Titan? Yeah, Grave Titan's a decent backup plan for a lot of these things. I think that's going to be better than Marchesa in this deck. All right, well, <laughs> Luris, Luris, I don't know about all that. Mm, Unearth came back, but at this point, we're probably just on Ashen Rider, is my guess. I don't think we're like the best Unearth deck, whereas Ashen Rider could be decent. And then I'll take Bazaar, which I'm not that likely to want to use. All right, taking out Ex Legion Extruder for the time being. I still think we're we've got a decent setup for Grixis. We've got some basically two tri lands. Um, I guess Cyan. A little more likely to be good. I don't know. The artifact stuff wasn't open this pack, and that's fine too. Huh. Well, let's hope pack three's got some good sneak breach stuff. I also wish I there's the Gristle Brand versus Emberoiled Captain pick. It's like I was there's three different decks, and at various points I was drafting, trying to figure out which one I wanted to be in, and and did it kept. Uh, uh, you know, you, you, you again, you work with the cards you get past and getting past it. If that pack, instead of having an Atroxa and Archon, had like, you know, a card or two that was good with Luris, then I would be feeling very differently about this whole thing. But that is not what happened. All right, going into pack three. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Um, now there's a Skull Clamp, which honestly still might be the pick. I've got... Malcolm, Fairy, Mastermind, Brazen Borrower, Ballista, Sir Ginger. I have a lot of Skull Clampable cards. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where I'm going here. I mean, it's that or there's like a Trinket Mage that gets nothing a daze. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll take Skull Clamp here. Oh, and there's Mox Pearl. I guess you do get past Moxes every now and then. Also, World Spine Worm, which one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, World Spine Worm could definitely wheel. All right. Mox Pearl is in. These last couple picks have made me a lot more likely to want Luris in my deck, just as a card I can play. Don't don't want Thassa's Oracle. There's Vamp Tutor and Chaos Defiler. These are both very good cards, but I'm assuming I want Vamp Tutor in my Flash deck. I think that that's going to be better. And I'm looking like I'm a lot more blue black than red black, or than red blue. I don't know if I end up playing the Generous Plunderer or not. But Luris has a pretty good shot of getting in. Well, I didn't necessarily want to use my early picks on lands, but I think Volcanic is still going to be really good. It also makes this Oliphant even better. So I think I'll take that over Headliner Scarlet, certainly over Gemstone Mine. Hmm. Could use another Animate spell. I just have the Reanimate. I would love to get, like, one more. <laughs> I could have had Gorio's Vengeance, too. <sighs> yeah. Well, well, we'll see where we end up. Now there's Urza. I, I, I probably do take the Urza. Uh, like, it's great with Skull Clamp. It's good with Ballista. It doesn't seem like I... I don't think I need another, like, medium animate target in Bonnie Paul. Catcher of Triumphs, just whatever. Also, I shouldn't pass Urza this late to the person I passed Urza Saga to. So I think I will try to avoid doing that. So red sources, I have one, two, three free red sources. Yeah, so I can definitely play Captain and Lightning Bolt. I don't know that I'll play the, the, the Plunderer. Probably will play Colagon's Command, though. And then here, okay, we're, it's too late for that. We're not taking Sim Simulacrum Synthesizer. Okay, I have a little bit of uh, <laughs> being a little reasonable. There's a Moloch here, which it's not so much that I would play it. It's just I don't like passing it. It's the best card here by quite a bit. I could also take like an Aether Spell Bomb, which is pretty good with Luris. Yeah, all right, I could see doing that. I don't think I want Zagoth Triumph so much. And... I feel like this deck needs needs a little bit of more oomph, so take that. Unfortunately, I didn't get that Sahili. I was not. I didn't realize I was in Flash, Artifacts, Luris, Aggro. So, you know, it, it, it's it's really on me that I didn't realize that. All right, now there's Third Path and Kappa Cannoneer. I guess also Caustic Bronco or Gruff Triplets for Flash, though. I kind of just want to take Third Path. It's really good with Urza and with Skull Clamp. I don't think I'm supposed to take Kappa Cannoneer here. It's a better card in general, but... I think the third path is just going to fit so nicely into this deck. Now I could take Great Furnace. I could take Tiny Bones. Tiny Bones is also something I could Skull Clamp. Or I could just take Blue Red Talisman. Yeah, Blue Red Talisman's got to be it. All right. Well, we're not getting Sneak or Breach or another Animate. So here's where we're at. I think this Ashen Rider is out. This is 14, 15, 16 lands. So I'm actually pretty close. I think the Show and Tell also is out. We're not going super heavy on that. But with Vamp Tutor and Mystical Tutor for Flash and Reanimate... 
I feel like we have a pretty good chance of getting some of that done. I'll probably just take Odawara here. I'm not going to play any of those other cards. And I think I am just like kind of Grixis-y, like not like or even ish split over those three colors though legion extruder wants to get into though um how do i get legion extruder in i could take out bone shards but i probably don't want to do that i don't think i want to take out grave titan either and this is now 14 15 16 lands again counting oliphant and pearl as lands of course mm -hmm. i mean grave titan is one of the weaker cards but i still think i do want it let's see what else we get Okay, World Spine came back. That that's a gift. All right, now that we have World Spine, I actually feel so much better about this deck. Oh wow, Misha's Workshop. Oh, man, can't take that. But Jeweled Amulet could be decent here. It's good with Third Path and Urza. Okay, I'll take that over Tribal Flames. And then now, oh, do I want a Dragon's Rage Channeler? It looks like it could be pretty good with Skull Clamp. I don't think I need the Talisman or Legion Extruder. All right, let's take that. Let's take the Nettle Cyst. Though, am I going to play this card? I don't think I'm going to play Nettle Cyst. I'm just going to hate the Cobra. I feel like I passed a lot of green. Uh, I'll hate Railway Brawler. I think Corsair is actually worse. And, all right, we're not getting anything else, but that's fine because I actually still have to cut a bunch of cards now. <laughs> Last pick, Oko. Okay. All right, let's get to deck building. All right, so here we are. We've got the Atroxa World Spine. Flash, Mystical Tutor, Reanimate, Bone Shards, kind of Vampiric Tutor passion, <laughs> passion, Package, which I think, uh, I think is pretty reasonable. I've got <laughs> Grave Titan, which kind of fits in that. And then I've got Urza, Ballista, Talisman, Sir Ginger, Third Path, Extruder, Plunderer Makes Artifacts 2, Skull Clamps, Spell Bomb, <laughs> Pearl, and Jeweled Amulet. Okay, okay. And then we have like Malcolm, Fairy, Mastermind, Ember Wild Captain, Lightning Bolt, Dragon's Rage Channeler, as well as Alluras. All right, well, let's let's go, let's just go back by mana value real quick. So how many cards do I need to cut? Currently, I need to cut, let's see, this is 11, 12, 13. I probably need to cut like three cards because I want to play maybe 14 lands plus pearl oliphant jeweled amulet kind of counting jeweled amulet as a land which i think i think is okay and let's see if i have one two three four five six black sources okay maybe i maybe this jeweled amulet is not not what i want because it's not a, I, I might have to just play it as a spell not a land four five six seven red and then that would leave two blue, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue, plus the talisman, I guess. Yeah, I think, I think I take Grave Titan out. I think I just have Flash reanimate for Atroxa and World Spine. I think I take Fairy Mastermind out. It's okay to Skull Clamp, but it's not like it's amazing. And I need to take like two more cards out. Jeweled Amulet could be one of them. That That is a reasonable thing to do. It is really nice with Urza. Decent with Generous Plunder, or sorry, Legion Extruder, Third Path. Malcolm is a good discard outlet. Lurus also seems like it's pretty good. It replays Ballista, Spellbomb, all these cheap creatures. And Force is great. I could, I guess, take out Emberwild, but I don't love that. Maybe I take out Bone Shards, because here's the thing. If my hand is Reanimate plus Atroxa, I could just Mystical for Flash. I don't need to Mystical for Bone Shards. So I think that I do take the bone shards out, and I think I want to take one more out for one more island. That would be so that would be four, five, six, seven, eight red sources, and three, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources, counting talisman. <laughs> and then three, four, five, six black sources plus nope, that's it. Six black sources. Um maybe I just take the Loris out, because I have six. Plus Mox Pearl 7. Plus Jeweled Amulet kind of 8 because Jeweled Amulet lets me double up on one of my sources to cast Luris. Uh, that's not like completely crazy. And I don't think anything in my sideboard is all that interesting. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll take out Luris for now. Tough build. I could take out Jeweled Amulet. I guess my curve's kind of low, but it's also, it helps cast Luris, which is funny. 
no, I think I'll do this and I'll see how this plays out. But uh, definitely could have been rewarded by like going a little deeper in any specific direction. But also, I didn't get much of the sneak reanimate flash support pack one. The gristle brand wouldn't have ended up even that good in here. I never saw sneaker breach. And then I didn't have the the I didn't have much of an inroads into artifacts. The Luris pick over mana leak didn't really work out, but. I think where I was at, it seemed like a good out to have like a really powerful deck. Then Atroxa changed everything. All right, well, let's get to the battles and uh, see how this does. All right, time for round one. Playing against uh, Isaac here, who's got a Lutri. I'm going to keep this hand. I've got Reanimate and Flash, so if I find Atroxa or World Spine, then things are looking great. Island Mox Diamond, interesting. I could technically flash out an Urza Saga pretty quickly here, but I don't know about all that. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there goes... Actually, it's not clear what goes here because Oliphant reanimates a pretty strong combo. So if you take flash and I just go turn one swamp cycle Oliphant, turn two Oliphant, reanimate Oliphant, that could be good. I don't know what uh, Isaac is up to here, but... Yeah, it takes the reanimate. All right, so now I just need to draw a Troxa. Let's see what I can find here. Or World Spine. Um, Malcolm. Let's just go Swamp Go. I guess. Um, I guess I'm actually going to upkeep. I should have done this before. The only the reason I, I mentioned that I should have done this before is a uh, Tishana's Tidebinder. If if this got Tidebinder, it would actually just destroy me, so there's no real reason to walk into it. He knows my whole hand anyway, except for this Malcolm. The Malcolm's going to be nice, though. Oh, he doesn't have a second land. <laughs> the, the perils behind Mox Diamond. Oh, and I drew Force of Negation? That's a really good card with Flash here. Okay, pass the turn. If he doesn't have a play, end of turn. Ooh, this looks pretty good, because now I get to slam Malcolm at the end of his turn. I might force this because I can go Malcolm into Emberwild, which is a pretty nice little sequence here. Malcolm, if he counters it, I think I just let that happen. I will attack first, though. Oh, there's a Troxa. All right. Send with the Malcolm. So Isaac was thinking about playing something, and now he's actually going to go ahead and play it. Cut down. Okay. So I think I'm just going to play Ember Wild Captain here. I think getting this out is a lot better than than Atroxa. All right. Because Atroxa just draws cards, and I have no way to reanimate Atroxa anymore. So I'd rather just get the Ember Wild Captain out. Okay. Uh, Retrofitter Foundry. I kind of want to just force that. Mm, then I have to pitch Flash. No, this this will be slow enough. I think I, I should be able to, to get around it. Bolt is not terrible attack and I think I just flash here I was hoping to draw blue but I think I'll just cast flash and if he's got a counter then he has to spend mana unless it's forceful I guess and then he can't use the retrofitter so I think this is this will work out drown in the lock okay and play dark slick shores pass the turn and now Force of Negation is now just going to pitch this Atroxa, probably. Ooh, Skull Clamp and Urza. Don't mind that. All right, let's draw. Oh, Mountain. Mountain was even not a bad draw because now I can cast Urza here and still have Lightning Bolt up. Okay. Skull Clamp. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I guess it's not bad to skull clamp the Ember Wild. No, I can just hard cast force here and bolt. Though I think I'm gonna tap out. I can't I can't really cast this Atroxa. So I guess I'll just equip clamp to Ember Wild and then attack, and then this way either Isaac takes five or trades a token for this, and I draw two cards. Happy enough either way. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Draw two. And I'll just ride this to victory, I think. All right, Sir Ginger. At this point, I don't I don't feel like 
I need to leave bolt up and then equip Urza with the clamp in case Urza dies. All right. And then we've got the, the Monarch still and drawing cards in Tomb. Okay. Well, he doesn't know about the Force of Negation, so in Tomb is not too bad for me unless he's getting a Thopter Foundry or sort of the Meek for a Thopter Foundry. Okay, he's getting Archon. Interesting. All right, I'll draw my card. Well, Force of Negation is going to earn its keep here, I suppose. If he's got something. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Okay, I think that's fine. Not close to <laughs> to getting uh, to, to win off zero cards. It's going to mill himself for two and draw a card. And I'm, I can just attack Jace here. Also, how close am I to killing Isaac? Not that close, right? I can attack for 9, 12. I mean, okay, I am close, but we're not quite there. Let's go attack Jace, attack Jace, attack Isaac. And actually, maybe I should have just spun Urza first if I was going to do that. Yeah, I guess I probably should have. In case I hit another artifact or something. K command, oh. All right, destroy target artifact. Return target creature from your graveyard to your hand, I think is going to be good. Get back Emberwild Captain in case something goes wrong, and I'll blow up Mox Diamond. You can keep the, you can keep the Retrofitter Foundry. <laughs> that, that one doesn't bother me. Okay, I'll pass the turn here, draw another card. And we pretty much got this game locked up, I would, I would imagine. So he's on Jace Wielder of Mysteries, so maybe he has Demonic Consultation as well. Frantic search, okay. I will allow that. I don't really want to show Force of Negation until I have to. And is most likely not going to do much. What is that? Oh, another island. I mean, if he goes land, animate the the Archon, then then I guess I will force. I suppose I could also try to grind through the Archon with Aether Spellbomb, discard the Swamp or whatever, but no real reason to do that. And... I don't think any reason to cast Mystical Tutor. Let's cast Aether Spellbomb here. And this is now lethal. This is 6 9. Oh, not quite. Especially with a Retrofitter token. I'll Brazen Borrower that. Why not? Keep the Aether Spellbomb in play. Hit Isaac down to 4. And then we've got Bolt here, and I think we're doing pretty good. All right. So playing against Reanimator, well, Reanimate is really nice in this matchup. I think I do, do want Gemstone on the draw. I think I can take out a red or maybe a black. I don't know. They're both pretty close. And don't think I necessarily want Bone Shards. Definitely don't want Show and Tell. Legion Extruder might be worse than like a Bone Shards if he's animating Archon. Yeah. All right. I guess that that's fine. All right. Let's see how this goes. All right. Time for game two here. Yeah, this hand is fine. I, have, I don't have anything to Mystical for yet, but if I draw a Worm or a Troxa, I can go get Flash. And I do get to play Spellbomb into Lutri or into Malcolm. I guess Mountain. The only reason I don't want to lead with Odawara is if I draw an island, I can delay playing Odawara. And if I draw two islands before I have to cast Urza, then I can keep this in hand and use it as a bounce spell. So seems unlikely, but it is possible. Oh, there's Vamp. Okay. I don't think I'm going to lead on Vamp into Mystical because I can't do them both in the same turn. What I, what I guess I could do, hmm, I could, let's see if... Isaac taps out for something. Oh, he puts Lutri into hand. So what I could do is I could Mystical for Flash right now. And then upkeep Vamp for Worm. I mean, that's probably pretty good. Because I could Mystical for Flash, draw a card of Spellbomb, and then Vamp for Worm. And then just dump three five fives into play. Yeah, given what we've seen, I think that that is a reasonable line to play. All right, I'm just using up all my cards here, but that's okay. Oh, 
he was thinking about doing something. All right, I don't know what it was, but I guess I'll get flash, draw a card. And I think I'm gonna wait a turn here. And, oh, I drew Force of Negation, that's really nice. So now I'll just pass the turn and I'll have Malcolm up and then I can vamp end of turn. I feel like I, I feel like he might have had days, or maybe he was just bluffing. I don't know, but I think that this this will be okay. Let's go vamp here for World Spine. Though at this point, maybe I just vamp for Atroxa. Hmm, I think that actually kind of like that, and then cast Malcolm, and then I can try to flash in Atroxa on his turn. Drawing Force of Negation was actually really, really good, because now I can go for it on Isaac's turn and uh, have Force backup. Brainstorm, okay. Chose not to Lutri the Brainstorm. He has Lutri in hand. Of course, he'd have to discard if he did that. No, actually he wouldn't have, because he played the Lutri. Yeah, no, he could have done that. Decided not to. And then I can just pitch this Urza to Force of Negation if I need to. I think it, uh, doing this a few turns later makes me want a Troxa because I think finding, hopefully, Reanimate and there's just a bunch of other action is going to work out a lot nicer. I wouldn't mind finding a different blue card to pitch rather than Urza, so maybe I can discard this Ballista. Or, or a land. A land wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, I'll discard Ballista either way. Play Xander's Lounge and pass the turn. The Malcolm also means if I don't really need to spend mana on stuff. Is he going to cycle something? No, he's just passing. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to wait here. I really don't want to get into a counter war, especially with a Lutri in hand. He's able to uh, clone the counter spell, so it doesn't really work out very well for me. Okay, land would still be okay. I think I'll discard Lightning Bolt. Play a Talisman and pass the turn here. Eventually, Malcolm could just cast a Troxa off the Malcolm trigger. <laughs> Gotta do something. All right, pass the turn here. He's not using his mana. Let's see. Hard cast Lutri, sure. <laughs> that doesn't really bother me, I wouldn't say. Like, if he casts a Collective Brutality, then yeah, I'm gonna go for her Flash, but. I think the way things currently stand, I'll just attack with Malcolm here. And next turn, I can also cast Flash with uh, Force of Negation back up, just hard cast. And then uh, then I don't have to pitch this Urza. Sir Ginger. Uh, that's a good one to discard. Attack with Malcolm. Okay. Take it. Oh, yeah. Definitely discarding Sir Ginger and passing the turn here. Got K command up now too. So that's something I can cast end of turn. Land number seven, okay. <laughs> that's fine. I'll take take some damage here. And Thieving Skydiver, no kicker. <laughs> that, that, that definitely shows you what's up. Alright, so let's just deal two damage and return a creature. So I'll get back Walking Ballista and I'll deal two to the Thieving Skydiver here. Once again, forcing this Malcolm attack here. Like, he's got to do something about Malcolm or I just discard Atroxa and cast it. So, what is this? Is this Smirking Spelljacker? Okay, I'll cast Flash in response. Put Atroxa in. And let's hit Opatroxa hits reanimate, among other things. Um, wow, that was kind of weak. So I get artifact landing creature. So definitely want pearl volcanic. And I guess brazen borrower. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't really. Yeah, I was really hoping to be able to bounce the. Oh no, there's two blockers anyway. I was gonna see if I could uh, bounce and get this Malcolm through because the Malcolm is still is still awesome here. Okay, so Smirking Spelljacker, I guess, was the card that's been left up here. Not hitting a reanimate there was pretty tough. 
And that bolt being in the graveyard is also pretty annoying. Okay, let's just draw here. Oh, bone shards. Okay, so let's go bone shards, the smirking spelljacker, discarding a card. I guess probably just mox pearl. I think that volcanic's gonna be better. Yeah. And then petty theft the skydiver. And then I can hit with Malcolm and play this Urza for free here. Discard Urza and then cast it. And then I even get to play a Volcanic Island and can't quite spin Urza, but this looks pretty good. He does get to Skydiver the Construct, but I think that I'd rather him have Skydiver in hand than Smirking Spelljacker. I think Smirking Spelljacker would be way too annoying. Malcolm, Malcolm getting his ultimate off is pretty sick. Okay, so he's gonna take the construct. I'm gonna tap it. Not that it matters too much. And then presumably he's not gonna attack with <clears throat> Lutri. He's got five cards in hand, still has a lot of cards in hand. I've done a lot of like vamping and throwing away cards to bone shards and stuff. So even though I hit that Atrox, I still didn't draw that many cards. Play the Brazen here. <clears throat> but now I get to start spinning Urza. I've got some good hits. World Spine Worm. <laughs> Reanimate. I guess Reanimate is a little bit costly on life, but I think it would still work fine here. This Force of Negation is looking a little thin against Smirking Spelljacker, Skydiver. They've played all creatures so far. Presumably, <laughs> Isaac's going to play some spells here soon, though. This has been a pretty sweet game. And I've got plenty of action left. Oh, he's casting something else. Okay, this I'm probably going to force if I can. Collective Brutality. Yeah, discarding Jace. All right, yeah, I'm going to force of negation that. And if I draw another way to get Thieving Skydiver out of the way... Oh, there's Reanimate. All right, slamming it on Atroxa. All right, I take seven. I go to five. And I pick up Skull Clamp. Um... Mountain, third path. Wow, really not like the best Atroxa hits, but you know, that's all right. Third path, Skull Clamp, tapping the Talisman in. Skull Clamp, third path goes really hard. Let's go Skull Clamp the Soldier, tapping the Soldier. Draw two. Oh, Jeweled Amulet earning its keep here. Wow, what a good card. <laughs> Skull Clamp on the Soldier. Tapping the soldier, draw two more. Okay. Um, can attack with Malcolm and force the trade. I think five, I have 10 cards left. I think I'd rather spin Urza first rather than doing anything else. All right, any world spines? Nope, swamp. And I think it's worth forcing this trade here since that means Atroxa gets to get in next turn. If he's got an answer to Atroxa, this could be kind of bad. But he didn't have an answer for Urza last turn. I'm going to get to look through a ton of cards in my deck here. I can't have too much left. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, ten. Yeah, I mean, I've actually got a lot of lands left in my deck at this point. <clears throat> Do I have any? Oh, I have one exiled land, 11. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad then, because I, Oliphant also kind of counts. Okay, so he's got four cards in hand. He discarded his worst card last turn was Jace, which not the best card here, but definitely not terrible. So he's got a decent hand. Wasn't able to kill Urza, though. And then I would love to get this Ballista back. Unfortunately, my deck does not have any ways to recur things. So what kind of heat do I have left? I took out the Legion Extruder, Spellbomb, World Spine Worm. Yeah, I don't uh, the Oliphant. I, I don't have like a ton left. I've gone through a lot of cards. All right, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Just bounce the Atrox, I guess. Could draw cards too. Huh. Funny. I don't actually. Do I have a way to cast Atrox in this deck? I don't think I do. I have white from Pearl, which is already in my graveyard. I don't have green anywhere. All right, that's fair, I suppose. He might not bounce it, but obviously he's thinking about it. And then 
Am I just going to go through all the cards in my deck? <laughs> the the Malcolm discarding stuff earlier was a little unfortunate. And then Cycle Troll. <clears throat> well, let's see how this goes. I don't have a way to kill Jace right now because I can't play Brazen Borrower. <clears throat> I spun Urza instead hoping to hit uh, <clears throat> the uh, World Spine Worm. Let's hope I don't draw it though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's shuffle. Dark Slick Shores. I mean, I can play Brazen. <laughs> Guess playing Brazen Borrower is probably better than shuffling Urza at this point. I don't really even know what I can hit. Pass the turn. I was really hoping this World Spine Worm would be it. I guess I can discard World Spine Worm, but I don't think that's going to work out very well. I think I'm just out of cards that do anything. Shieldred? All right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not beating that. Wow. I just, I just actually ran out of cards that do anything. I just went through my entire deck. Fair enough. All right, so... I mean, do I want like a Grave Titan or a Lurus or something? I feel like I did run out of stuff pretty badly there. I like the Bone Shards, especially now that I've seen Shieldred. I think Dragon's Rage is still pretty good. Sir Ginger's really good against both Jaces. Like, having a Haster against those is pretty nice. I'm going to take out the Gemstone Caverns, put back in the Mountain. I don't think I board in Lurus. I think... Yeah. I think this is where I'm at. All right, let's just, let's just turn one Flash. <laughs> That's it. Turn one Flash on the play. It is possible. I, I've got Mox Pearl, Flash, and World Spine Worm in my deck. All right. Well, I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to Mystical here. I'm going to play turn two Talisman, turn three Ember Wild Captain is going to be my plan. He's got Rafine's Tower. And if I draw a big creature, then I can Mystical for Flash. And I think that is a decent plan. All right, well, let's just slam Ember Wild Captain here. Oh, <laughs> there's the vamp for the whole thing. Let's upkeep stop because there's also a decent chance if this gets countered, I would want a Mystical for a reanimate, but looks like it did not. And I have the Malcolm and the Fairy Mastermind. Yeah, Ember Wild Captain's a messed up card. Turn three on the play. It's pretty nice. What is this? Oh, Limb Duel's Vault. All right, he's going kind of deep here. All right, so he vaulted, oh, liked the second set of cards he saw. So on upkeep, I mean, as things currently stand, I won't be tutoring for anything. But I, I am kind of curious. Well, I've got the Monarch Trigger. Let's see. Let's see what he's got here. Is this Collective Brutality? Kind of looks like it. Discarding, but he discarded cut down, so that's not even that bad. And now he can take one of my tutors. I could tutor for a force of negation. I don't really think I need to do that though. Yeah, he takes the vamp tutor. I think on upkeep, I'm just gonna draw here. All right, play third path. Land, play Sir Ginger, and then just draw end of turn i would like to find force of negation that would be awesome but i don't think i'm supposed to fire off a mystical tutor for it especially then he would know about it and it doesn't look like he's that close to making like a massive play i don't know we'll have to see i guess it's got four cards in hand urza urza's not bad especially with third path like i might go on and go like upkeep mystical for force play Urza, and then I would have enough to hard cast Force. Okay, no plays. Sure. Because I can also Mystical during my turn and then draw it off the Monarch trigger if I so desire. Let's land. Let's play Urza first. He doesn't have Smirking, smirking Spelljacker mana up, otherwise I would not have played that. I guess he could have Cryptic Command, but I don't think we've seen that. So 
and I'm okay playing Urza here. Okay, he did, he did cryptic me, sure. Attack, draw. Island is not ideal. And at some point I could also mystical for reanimate if I wanted to. I don't see a particularly strong reason to do that. If he's got Smirking Spelljacker mana up, I'm going to attack with just Sir Ginger and do nothing else. I'm not running into that card. And then I could also Brazen Borrower if I need to. Oh, is he getting Lutri? Getting, oh, Necromancy. Um, okay. That's, I think, kind of an odd play. No, he doesn't. Oh, I see. I don't think he knows about the, the Brazen in my hand, does he? I guess I'll see. Petty theft on the Ember Wild here. And if he counters it, then I can still just attack and take the Monarch. So this isn't, this really isn't too bad for me. Okay, drawn in the lock. All right, draws, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll Mystical on upkeep here. And I think, oh, I just get K command, yeah, definitely. So I draw and I go K command, return target creature, deals two damage to any target. Or actually, hold on. Do I want Urza or do I want Brazen? Because I actually have two. I can make him discard a card and get back Brazen Borrower to have Brazen the Ember Wild. I kind of like just doing that. You discard a card, return target creature. Because either way, I'm not casting Urza this turn. And then I'm going to get Brazen Borrower back. And then go land Brazen the Ember Wild Captain. And end up with Brazen in my uh, egg, in my adventure zone, Emberwild Captain in hand, and him down to eight, and I get to draw a card end of turn. Okay, feels pretty good. Dragon's Rage is fine. Obviously, there's there's still plenty I could lose to here, but I'm in a pretty advantageous position. And then next turn, I get to go Captain and Dragon's Rage. And Captain's really nice too, because, well, I guess he's getting low on cards. I was going to say the, the D taking damage when you attack part is pretty, pretty good. I think, I don't know if that was better. Getting, making him discard a card is a pretty big gain. So, because the other play was deal two and get back Urza. Okay. Passing the turn. Okay, so we're talking Smirk and Spelljacker here. So if I attack with everything, he can Spelljacker the Iconoclast and go to one. Sure. I'm okay with that. Mm hmm. Puts him to one. I have Brazen Borrower to block. Now he's just going to block the Sir Ginger. Go to two. That also works for me. And let's just cast Oliphant and I think Dragon's Rage. Or maybe I don't even need to play Dragon's Rage. Maybe I just play Oliphant and pass. I guess this doesn't leave up Brazen Borrower. I wanted something that could win through even like a pretty big play. Oh no. Oh no. No. He doesn't have it. I thought he had demonic consultation there. Oh, good pump fake. Good pump fake on Isaac's play. That was a good play. Ooh, we got it though. And uh, <laughs> Isaac, you know, just made, made me think we were just lost, but we got there and uh, ooh, a nice 1-0 start there. All right, time to battle against Troll Ascetic. I would like to play first and, oh, look at this hand. This hand is, is really nice. Turn one, Malcolm. And turn to dig for flash targets while also hitting with a, maybe a third path iconoclast. Okay, let's send. All right, do need this to get a couple hits in because my hand is pretty bad. All right, let's see. Draw. There we go. That is what I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> let's 
discard a swamp dark slick shores and I think I'm gonna go hmm okay I did a little research it doesn't appear to have spell pierce so I think I'm just gonna upkeep go for the flash here because I don't see a reason to wait okay flash in atroxa and let's see what we can hit here boom artifact creature land sorcery instant that's more like it so definitely want reanimate and vampiric tutor those are those are givens and <clears throat> i guess i could take swamp skull clamp and i think brazen bar over generous plunder okay or ballista pass and now i get to reanimate the atroxa go for round two here <clears throat> ousting the malcolm yep that is acceptable so let's go mountain or swamp i guess mountain third path iconoclast reanimate atroxa keep on atroxin and <clears throat> see what we hit off this because we get some some pretty nice value here creature artifact land an instant so that's artifact that's the instant I guess I will take Ancient Tomb because I think there's a chance I might want it, and then I'll take the Ember Wild. World Spine is now now dead in my deck, unfortunately, and then play Skull Clamp <clears throat> and pass the turn. I have to discard to hand size. I guess Xander's Lounge can just get discarded. I should have an upkeep stop in case I want to do some tutoring. Okay, Atrox is getting ousted. I think that's fine. And I kind of want to vamp for Urza here. Because I don't think he even had a Wrath. Looking at the replays. Because he, he played Falcon Eye round one. We're up 3-1. No big deal. Um, yeah, didn't see Wrath. So I think on upkeep. Going to vamp. Oh, I guess I can't actually vamp and play Urza. Maybe maybe I just wait a turn and I just get Force of Negation then. Yeah, Force seems like it's going to be good too. I can pitch this Mystical Tutor. And I want to play that Emberwild Captain. So let's go ahead. Actually, let's go Ancient Tomb, Emberwild Captain. No, actually, I <laughs> changed my mind again. All right, let's hit with the two soldiers. I think this is going to be the best order. He's going to block. He's more likely to block not knowing about Emberwild Captain. And then I play Emberwild Captain. And then I Skull Clamp a Tapped Soldier. Yeah, all right. And then draw, 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 draw. I guess I'll discard Swamp again. I don't really need multiple black very often in this deck. And then I don't think I even want an upkeep stop. Oh, we could have Resto Angel. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um... Let's just send with these. See what he does. I kind of feel like he's going to play a resto. Oh, Stoic Sphinx. Um, bounce it. Make a token. I could also have let him block and then Legion extruded it, but this seems like it was good enough. All right, we got that one. Do I want Fairy Mastermind or Luris against like a blue-white control deck? I mean, Bolt's still fine. Dragon Rage, definitely good. Yeah, I like all the cheap stuff. Yeah, this, this looks pretty good to me. Oh, do I want Gemstone? I probably do. I think Gemstone over a mountain is okay. I don't need a lot of black, but black I do want early because Reanimate and Vamp are two of my most important cards. Well, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to keep this. Uh... I'll go ahead and ship in this hand on six, yeah. Keep put up K command back. Need to draw blue, but if I do, Skull Clamp is, is one of my best cards against him. Hmm. Let's go turn on Dragon's Rage, and then I can use Skull Clamp to surveil here. And if I draw a land, that would just be truly excellent. If he casts Oust here, do I have to force it? I probably want to if he did. I don't think I'm going to bolt upkeep here. That doesn't seem necessary. Oh, upkeep ancestral recall. Yeah, 
I can't stop that with Force of Negation. Oh, Island is nice. Let's just attack and then cast Malcolm into turn. No reason to, no reason to get to clamping quite yet. I don't think. Okay, this this hand is kind of turning around. I mean, obviously, Matt went. You know, good tap land, good tap land, ancestral. I don't love that. Uh, I'm gonna play Malcolm. He he has to discard right now, so this kind of plays into him having a counter or something. But what are you gonna do? Oh, he doesn't. Nice. Okay, let's go mountain. Let's cast Skull Clamp. Do a little surveilling here. See what that leads to. I'm gonna clamp this Dragon's Rage soon. But I figure I should get a surveil in before attacking. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe I just attack first. I'm not sure. He's got seven cards in hand, so not loving that. My hand is pretty good though. This looks like kind of like a Delver deck right now. I've drawn Bolt, Force Negation Borrower, and two cheap creatures. Snap Ancestral. Oof. Okay. Do your thing, I guess. Can't stop it. Well, I guess I'm not going to attack my Dragon's Rage Channeler anymore. Let's see what my top card is. Mm, is he looking for a Force of Will here, maybe? To try to force the Skull Clamp? Because he did give up the block on Dragon's Rage, which he could have which he could have pulled off. So that's, that is a little interesting. My other option, by the way, is I could also just bolt the Snapcaster. Oh, man, forcing, pitching Memory Lapse at least. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything about that. I'll put this in my graveyard. Okay, well, new plan. Bolt, surveil, put in my graveyard. All right, and then now, now I get to attack for five and I have force up. All right, that's my new plan. I guess I have to discard basically whatever I draw here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll discard a Trox. I'd rather have a Trox on graveyard and pitch Brazen Borrower to force. I don't have Flash, I don't have Reanimate, I don't even have Black Mana, I don't have a Tutor, any of those things. Okay, well, I'll force it. I mean, let's see if I can cheese him to death with my Delver deck here, despite him Ancestraling twice. <laughs> uh, all right, well, Flash is not going to do the trick. It's okay, I, I had to go through all my cards here to have this even try to work. Oh, it's hit for five. All right, any reanimates? No, there's Swamp. I'll play the Swamp, pass the turn. Now if I draw reanimate, we're in business. He's got seven cards in hand still, seven. <laughs> uh, Smuggler's Copter, go. I think I'm just gonna attack with Dragon's Rage Channeler. I feel like he's gotta have something, yeah. All right, well. This does let me play Ember Wild Captain. That was a really good draw. Let's see. It's going to be hard for him to take the Monarch back. He has to take a bunch of damage. And I get to draw card end of turn. And I have two blockers here. All right. If I oh, there's Mystical Tutor for Reanimate. We're we're in this. We're we are we are battling. I'm drawing basically perfectly. Drawing Swamp into Emberwild was just so sick. I did get to see a bunch of cards with Surveils and Reanimates and stuff. So, or, or Malcolm hits rather, Loots. So, oh, there goes that plan, I guess. All right, fair enough. Now, what am I mysticaling for? I guess I could stop on upkeep anyway. Maybe I would want to get a Colagon's Command. Hmm. Can attack with Cathar Command. He take a bunch of damage. Can't animate the Colonnade. I think I'm just gonna draw for my turn. Legion Extruder. All right, that's kind of interesting. Let's play Legion Extruder. I'm gonna try to hit that Cathar Commando. See what he does. All right, so he could definitely have Sphinx. Or Resto. I think I just attack with Ember Wild here. Don't think I need to attack otherwise. Solitude. Okay. Uh, I guess I passed the turn here. I don't even have Bolt left to get, so that's not going to help. 
I think we're I think we're we're going down here. All right. I tried. I tried. Turns out the two ancestrals was still too much for me to beat. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, he's just gonna gain three, become the the monarch, have a million cards in hand. Um, fairy mastermind does seem like it's actually pretty good. Probably better to Legion Extruder. He didn't actually have that much to hit with it. All right. I will try that and uh, hope things work out a little better. All right. Time for game three. Any turn one flashes? No, but this hand is <clears throat> definitely fine. I mean, Skull Clamp is a very good card against him, and this ha hand has Skull Clamp into Fairy Mastermind, which is nice. And then Force of Negation is also a card that's great here, even though I don't actually have a way to, a card I want to pitch to it. Uh, of course, of course. Mm, K Command's okay. He doesn't have that many counters and he has oust, so I think I'm going to wait on the Fairy Mastermind. He's probably going to want to play something anyway. Okay, Stoneforge, a Mystic. Well, still has to discard a bunch of cards then. Batter Skull? Okay, I've got answers to that. Cast Fairy Mastermind. If I don't draw a red here, I'm going to have to clamp the Fairy Mastermind. I would prefer not to, though. Okay. He could have Force of Will in hand. Because if he forced that, he wouldn't have to discard. But who knows? And, oh, he could have Solitude. Yeah. Solitude Pitching Assimilation Aegis. Yep. Okay. Well, let's see what I draw here. Red would be nice. Spell bomb. Cycle it. Any Xander's lounges? Island. All right. Yeah, I guess I'm going to lose a game to mana here. I mean, if I draw a red right now, things are great. I can kill the Batter Skull and the Stoneforge with this K command. But uh, the relic doesn't matter so much here. Obviously, it did more the other game. All right. Red mana, red mana, red mana. Nice. Let's just pass here. I mean, I assume he's putting it in. Okay, let's stop on end step. Destroy target effect, deals two damage to any target. I feel like, uh, I mean, if he's got force, he's got force, but. Ugh, all right, well, third path plus skull clamp could maybe get me out of this. I don't think it's going to be easy, but I'm not really... I couldn't let him untap because you can just bounce Batter Skull at that point, so I had to do it th that timing. Yeah, if he's going to Ancestral into multiple pitch cards, it's going to be tough to win these games. But if I draw a cheap spell and I can go third path, make a spell, I it's still, it's still definitely in this here. All right, Ember Wild Captain's kind of interesting. Let's play that. I gain the Monarchy. And then... End of turn, I draw a card. And hopefully he doesn't have anything too great here. Cycling Ragger and Triumph's okay. You can Relic me too if you want. You might have to actually cycle the Relic here. And I have Force. I don't really want to pitch Third Path, but I will if I have to. And if he attacks with both, I can just block Council's Judgment. Um, I'm going to let that resolve. The problem is if I force it, he still gets Monarch. So it doesn't actually change that. If, if he only had one creature in play, that'd be a different story. Because now I can play a third path and hope to hope to start going from there. Uduwar is not too bad. Third path Iconoclast. Pass the turn here. I'm going to need one more turn. I want a Force of Negation, a spell here. I really hope he plays something. Troll's deck looks incredible, by the way. Troll always drafts good decks. This deck just looks sick. And, uh, yeah. All right. I got, got to hit Force. We got, we got a shot here. I'm not saying it's looking good, but, I mean... You're not beating Ancestral into Solitude into Force very often. <laughs> it was like, turn one Ancestral, turn two Stoneforge, Solitude your guy. Uh, <laughs> force your next play is like, yeah, all right. And a Colonnade to kind of put the... 
Ooh. Okay, let's go generous plunder then, I guess. And equip the skull clamp. And I think leave the Odawara in hand. Okay, maybe plunder can get in. I'm at seven. Yeah, I mean, if he goes for a colonnade, a colonnade kill, I can Odawara it next turn. I mean, this is, like I said, this is going to be a hard game to win, but it's not going to be completely impossible. Let's... I'm going to use the generous plunder to make treasures as well. I think I'm, I think I need the mana more than he does. All right, draw. Jeweled amulet. It would have been good if I had that third path in play. Oh man, he has ice now too. All right, I, I have given up. One and one here. What a beating. All right, time for round three, playing against Stefan. Mental misstep here, the winner of the mocks, and uh, he's got a nice black lotus deck, so we'll see how this goes. Here we've got a uh, pretty good Urza hand. I'm gonna keep this. He's got strip mine in his deck, so I kinda, kinda gotta be careful about this island. But I don't think I'm supposed to mulligan this hand. Oh, Talisman was a fantastic draw. This is actually looking like a, like a very good Urza deck. Let's go. Probably Mountain Talisman here to again play around Strip Mine and then uh, turn three Urza and I guess looking for a little bit of action to go with that. But if Urza lives, that's usually pretty good. Oh, Fast Bond. Fast Bond scary. Don't love seeing that. Okay, Fast Bond and a land. Let's go. Land Talisman. I might crack the Spell Bomb end of turn. I guess there's no real reason to, and because it adds a mana with Urza. And I can just use it to protect Urza from a removal spell, which is kind of nice. All right, he's got great mana. Every color but black. Abundant amounts of blue and green. Dak Faden. All right. Well, I don't really like that, do I? Oh, draw two, discard two, doesn't even take my talisman. Huh. Okay. Oh, discards Echo of Eons. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I guess I'll definitely leave the spell bomb in play here. Hex Drinker. Okay. Um, I think now I go Island into Urza. And then I have Brazen Borrower or... Ether Spellbomb activation up at this point. I don't think I'm supposed to bounce the deck. I think if he casts Echo, I'll bounce deck in response. Oh, okay. So I guess I'll tap this. I think that's okay. And he's going to go. Sure, I'll, I'll let you go to attacks. I don't really want to use Brazen Borrow right now. And let's see what the play is. Manamorphos. You got it. Blue black. The fifth color. <laughs> All right. I mean, Echo here would be pretty good with this fast bond in play. I could also bounce fast bond in response if I had another mana, but I don't have any mana here. I guess I just let this happen. Oh, reanimate mystical. Well, I guess we're missing the creature part of that equation. Urza Saga. Let's see. Into Manamorphos again. Not really sure what his endgame is here. I don't really have a great answer either to, to any of this. I mean... I guess I could mystical for like a K command or something wild like that. My, this was a really bad echo hand. <laughs> All right. If I draw a creature or something, that could be good. May, I mean, maybe what I'd end up doing was just leveling up Hex Drinker a couple times. Okay. Is it going to keep going? Maybe maybe I crack Spell Bomb to draw a card. Because the Spell Bomb's not really doing that much for me. And. If I draw, 
Here, let's set an upkeep. If I draw a creature, it would be really good because I can flash and reanimate. Oh, Brazen Bar. Yeah, that doesn't do much for me either. I think I just take my turn here. Odawara. Odawara is interesting. Odawara can bounce uh, that Hex Drinker. Pearl. I mean, I think I'm just pretty dead here. Like, do I pass the turn? I guess so. It doesn't really, like I could Odawar and attack the deck down to one. That doesn't really seem like it accomplishes too much. I think I'd rather have him waste some more mana on the Hex Drinker before bouncing it. He's just got so many lands in play. It's turn four and he fast bond echoed and puts me in a pretty bad position. I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like I don't have... Uh, like, I could have mysticled for K Command to kill Dak Faden, but that just seems like it doesn't really do anything. Okay, well, let's ship the turn here. Just cracking a Verdant. Does he have a... It does even have a Surveil Land. Very nice. And all five colors here. All five color blue deck. What I'm hoping happens is I draw a Troxa. <laughs> a Troxa would be nice. Saga's on two. I mean, it seems like absent something better. Leveling up the Hex Drinker is a pretty decent play, and then I spend three to Urza it back, or to Odawara it back. But, wow, well, he's not even using Dak. He's doing something else first. Oh, Cycling Proving Ground. Interesting. Hmm. That's, that's a bit on the weak side. I guess I, I don't mind that. Firebolt Urza, okay. There's the Lotus. Uh, I have Reanimate for Urza, so that's actually not that big of a deal. And Arc Trail the Urza. Let's, I kind of want to keep some blue, so let's... Petty Theft. Construct, I think. Mm. Well, hold on. He's got oh, he's got Firebolt still. So if I play Brazen Borrower at instant speed, he still gets to Firebolt. It, I guess, I, I guess, yeah. I guess I'll just petty theft that now, and then I'll still be able to cast Brazen Bar or use it Awara. I can't do both. But if he goes for Sack Lotus Pump Hex Drinker a bunch of times, I can Odawara it, which is nice. I can also deck tap it for a colorless, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm going to bounce the thing now. I, I just have to. I, if I let him get Hex Drinker up to the full full amount, then it's just too bad for me. I, and I had to leave that untapped, the Talisman untapped, in order to cast Brazen Borrower. So I guess maybe I shouldn't have played the Swamp. But I think that this... All right, I mean... His dac has gone. He's leveling up Hex Drinker and making a Saga token. This isn't completely... At, I actually think on upkeep, I think I do Mystical now. He doesn't have any cards in hand. I think I just pick up K Command, draw K Command, destroy target, or deal two to any target. Target player discards a card. No. Is the, is the, basically, can I, do I want to destroy, I think I just destroy the construct. Destroy target artifact, deals two damage. Boom, deal two damage. And then Swamp, reanimate Urza, pass the turn. All right. I mean, this is not terrible. I, I really just didn't want to let him make another Saga token. They'd both be 3-3s, three get an artifact, they'd be 4-4s. Four I feel like the card in his hand is probably not as good as a 4-4 four four for zero mana that could attack right away. 
Mm, I mean, he's just got Bobble. We'll, we'll have to see here. I still kind of feel like I should be losing, but it'll kind of depend. And he's tapping this much mana. That's not great. Oh, just casting back Firebolt. Okay. And Soul Guide Lantern. Sure, well, I use my reanimate. So now I'm going to get to start spinning Urza. All right. I mean, we're, we're kind of in it here. We're, we're battling through all these cards. I'm glad I killed the construct. Not, neither of none of these things have been too bad for me. All right, let's just not draw anything too big. Mm, shuffle. Let's go. World spine. Nope. Third path iconoclast. Okay. We take it. We take it. Island. Generous plunder. Pass the turn. If he uses his baubles and lanterns, his things get smaller, but I think you kind of kind of have to at this point. I mean, one more turn of spinning Urza with a third path in play. The Generous Plunder is about to whack for a good amount of damage. I kind of feel like I'm just going to win, but he has four, seven, eight mana <laughs> in play, so it doesn't seem like it would be very difficult for him to find something. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, there goes my Urza, I guess. Can I just draw a Skull Clamp? If I draw a Skull Clamp here, I think we're, we're kind of in it. Cast a Filer, pretty annoying here. Wow, he killed my Generous Plunder? I don't understand. Okay, uh, I'll take five. I have Urza, I can just spin it. Wow, i like pretty confused, but I, I guess I'll take it. I gotta hit something here though. Yeah, I guess if I just keep missing, I'm still gonna lose. Any non-creature spell I would have been able to block the, the construct. Now now I have to now I have to chump with something. Hmm. I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get why I got to spin Urza. What if I just hit a world spiner on a Troxer or something? <laughs> or a good spell. I don't know. Would have been nice. I didn't think the generous plunder was that big of a deal. Well, either way, I guess I'm dead now. I mean, I can chump the construct with the third path, which I think is better. But I mean, he's got another another play here. Oh, memory jar. I don't think you're gonna want to crack that. Okay, block. Take five. Go to four. And end of turn. Play a brazen borrower. Mm, all right, well, we're cracking the jar. Can I get a flash plus something here? <laughs> that would be sick. Um, uh, no, I guess not. I do have a force of negation, which doesn't make me a token anymore since my third path is gone. Mm, stomping ground and forest. I can cast brazen borrower end of turn. Tamio. Well, I didn't even draw a blue card to go with it. Could have played it for free and played the Brazen Borrower. It's going to be hard to beat this Chaos Defiler, I suspect. He's nine cards in, in his deck. His Uro's gone. World Spine shuffles away. Oh, he could Soul Guide me now if he wants. It's fine. Cool, a land. Spin Urza into a Dragon's Rage Channeler. All right, I am dead. That was unfortunate. It did feel like we were losing really badly, and then for a second it felt like we might be coming back, and then, then we were not coming back. Uh, Fairy Mastermind, I guess, seems pretty good here. Lightning Bolt didn't seem amazing. Needed a Legion Extruder. I guess I could probably take out the Extruder. They're both, like I guess, okay at pinging Planeswalkers. Bone Shards... Bone Shards looked medium. I mean, Brazen Bar was pretty great. Cake Command, I think, is pretty good. All right. Let's see if we can get, get a little more something going here. I'm on the play. All right, I'll keep this. This is a turn one Ballista, turn two Skull Clamp it, I think is going to be my, my, my line here. And... I can even go Skull Clamp, Equip, and Charge Jeweled Amulet, which is nice. All right, play Ballista for one, pass the turn. 
don't think I need to play the jeweled amulet. I guess if he goes land, fast spawn, land, 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 like time twister, I wish I had played the jeweled amulet. But I don't think that that's uh, a reason to, to play it. But maybe, maybe it is. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not a... I thought that was fast bond. This I care a lot less about. I'm not really a dedicated reanimator deck. Oh, Malcolm. All right, that actually makes me change my plays since now I can go Jeweled Amulet, Swamp, Skull Clamp, pass the turn, end of turn Malcolm. I think is gonna be the line here. Though maybe I should have just charged Jeweled Amulet instead of playing Skull Clamp. It's like the draw seven thing or a counter spell versus him like having an artifact removal spell here. But we'll see. All right. Malcolm. Let's hit with these and oh fairy mastermind. Another nice one. Alright. I mean this this is going a lot better already. I think I'm going to hit for three, draw a card, because I, I have the mountain in hand, so I don't mind looting it away. And then post-combat, I will equip Skull Clamp onto Walking Ballista. And uh, try to draw two cards off that. Yep, discard Mountain. Skull Clamp the Walking Ballista here. Do you got an answer? Nature's Claim or something? Oh, Terra Sunder on the Skull Clamp. All right, so it goes. Land, go, and maybe maybe he cracks the soul guide to draw a card here or play something else that draws a card. That could, uh, that could work out for me. Narset, uh, okay, that's fine. I'm going to minus it, so I'm going to get to kill it next turn. So this is basically cycling, hitting a highway robbery. Sure. Let's go Jeweled Amulet on the blue. Oh, no, I can't do it on the blue. I guess I'll do it on the red. And then cast Fairy Mastermind here. Draw. Oh, I guess that played into days. <laughs> oh, Ember Wild Captain. Fantastic. So let's attack Narset. Attack Narset. Attack Stefan here. Narset dies. I get my loot, though. My loot is almost assuredly just discarding the non Emberwild Captain card. And then I get to slam this. And at this point, I would say the game looks pretty good because I have the Monarch, who I get to upkeep Vamp if I need to. I've got a pretty big squad of creatures in play. He doesn't have a whole lot. I mean, the kind of deck that I'm playing against, when they don't draw a fast bond, they could be. It can be a little bit, little bit weak. Oh, highway robbery. Yeah, that is not the not the start of a winning line. I mean, maybe he finds fast bond here and like does some stuff, but <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty far ahead at this point. I guess I don't quite have lethal, but I'm pretty close. I even get to draw an extra card off Fairy Mastermind. Oh, and now I can flash Atrox or a Flash Worm. Okay, found the fast bond, but he has three cards, four cards left in hand. Okay. Haywire Might, sure. Do I want to tutor for... I could just tutor for a Force of Negation. Hmm. Hmm. I think I just draw first. Yeah, because I'm going to get to draw a bunch of cards during my turn as well. Okay, that that's interesting. Let's... I'm not going to let him use Haywire Might here. If he didn't have mana untapped, I could see pinging it with Ballista so he couldn't block the Ember Wild Captain, but I think given that he's got mana up, that's not a very good play. Okay, didn't want to crack a fetch, so I could have shot it. Uh, sure, let's draw a card. Discard Xander's Lounge. And it's at nine. I think I... Probably, no, I don't think I need a vamp for Force of Negation. The, the reason I, I say that is if he's got a, a sweeper, I can just flash Worm. 
I don't really think I need to do that. And if I really need to, I can vamp for force of negation and then activate fairy mastermind. And I have to pitch flash at that point, but I mean, presumably that that's winning the game. So this seems like a pretty safe position to be in. I've got a force up. I've got lethal attackers. I've got the monarch. I even have flash worm. Okay. I draw a card off the fairy mastermind as well. All right. Going to game three, just have to get a good aggro start, I guess. And hope he doesn't have like a turn two Dak. Dak was pretty annoying. All right. I definitely want the gemstone caverns in here. And I am ready to battle. All right. Here. Yeah, I, I have to keep this hand. I mean, I get to play turn one jeweled amulet, charge it. Turn two, Sir Ginger. And then I can't quite turn three Sog or Urza with that mana unless I find an untapped land. Because. That requires me to not play Xander's Lounge early. Pearl would be nice. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Oh, Reanimate's not a bad card. Let's go Volcanic Jeweled Amulet. I think that I'd rather keep the door open to turn three Urza. And I think the best way to... And turn two Sir Ginger. I think the best way to do that is charge Amulet this turn. If I don't draw a land next turn, maybe I just play a, t a Xander's Lounge and then just play a turn three Urza. Oh, strip mine. Okay. Uh, charge it with blue. Kind of assume I'm getting strip mined here. But we'll see. All right. Well, now I just play Xander's Lounge. I think that's pretty easy. And then I can play Sir Ginger next turn and Urza the turn after. And once again, he doesn't seem to have fast spawn in this, in this hand, which helps a lot. Another thing that's nice is uh, Sir Ginger is very good against Dak. I've seen people, myself included, this happened to me the first time I ran into this interaction. They have a Sir Ginger in play. You're like, Teferi Time Raveler, go to bounce your Sir Ginger. But it's like, wait, it has Hexproof now. <laughs> so I think Sir Ginger can be pretty nice against Dak. Oh, Ember Wild is actually a really nice play. And then that even keeps the Force of Negation up because I can pitch the, the Urza at that point. All right, so what I probably will do is slam Ember Wild next turn. Hoping I don't have to use force here. Let's see what he's got. Firebolt. Well, I'm not going to use force on that. Okay, and there's fast bond. I don't think I'm forcing fast bond with four cards left in hand. I could just force whatever his his payoff is here. If this was like turn one forest fast bond, that'd be one thing. But I just think at the point of the game we're at, that's just not the play to make. Play with Awara and Ember Wild. All right. Okay, it resolved, and I have Force Up. I like what we're doing. This looks great to me. Bolt and Reanimate and Ballista, some, some decent follow-up here. You can go land Firebolt the Ember Wild if you want, but that, that's not a, a huge concern to me. Dak Vaden. Uh, okay. I'm not forcing that either because I can just attack Dak. If he's going to use it as a loot, a faithless looting, that's okay. I don't think, I didn't really care about killing my jeweled amulet. If he echoes here, I am going to force that, though. All right. Lotus, wow. Go you. All right, Echo of Eons. Force, pitching Urza. Get to kill Dak. He's got no cards in hand, and I'm the monarch right now. Seems pretty good. <laughs> World Spine Worm, not, not ideal. All right, attack Dak Faden. Actually, should I have? Maybe I should have. I could have reanimated the, the Sir Ginger and gotten an attack in there. I kind of like having reanimate for when he kills the Ember Wild Captain with Firebolt, but maybe it would have been better to do that. Okay, I mean, this is presumably Firebolt unless he draws like a Chaos Defiler or something. Oh, he's sacking Lotus? Ugh, I don't like that. Okay, yeah, that's Firebolted. So what did, what did, what did Stefan draw here? Tamio? Oh, Aragorn. All right. Um, let's add red, I guess. Sure. 
Well, that was a pretty good draw. Wow, that was an incredible draw. I, I'm still doing fine here, but <laughs> drawing Aragorn to take the Monarch as the first card there? It's really something, huh? Okay, uh, deal one. Bolt the Aragorn. I'm going to reanimate the Aragorn. I think Aragorn's better. And play a land and a Talisman. All right, pass the turn back. Dragon's Rage Channel is not terrible. Well, let's see what else he can draw here, but Aragorn right away chipped into a lot of my lead. Okay, Vindicate is fine. Into land? Okay. Okay, okay. So now he's got nothing, and I have the Monarch. If I draw a Flash, that's pretty nice. Okay, Command. Um, I think I'm going to play Dragon's Rage and draw step K command, make him discard a card. It's basically like taking an extra turn. Obviously, there's some cards you could draw, like an instant or an Uro, that would still be kind of a disaster, but I think this is still good. Uh, return target creature, target player discards a card. Let's get back Emberwild Captain or Walking Ballista. I think Emberwild Captain... And then you discard a card. And I get to surveil here. Oh, I'll definitely keep Flash on top. And if he discards, then... Oh, I got Eternal Witness. Oh, you love to see it. All right, I'm going to cycle Oliphant. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know I have a Flash on top. <laughs> uh, let's draw. Play Emberwild Captain, because I have end of turn Flash. And... I think we've pretty much got it here. I mean, I, I could cycle Oliphant and play it, but I actually, or, and play the land, but I kind of think <laughs> I might be, be casting Oliphant. Well, I'm probably not because I'm going to win the game here, but let's go Flash, Surveil, Graveyard, World Spine, and boom. That's 15. That's a two and one, and that's the draft. We just need one more win, and we got there. Oof. All right. Well, we got murdered by trolls awesome blue white deck but you know what this kind of deck kind of came together i think it shows the power of tutors because having the two tutors means having the the look flash atroxa reanimate world spine package in what is essentially a blue red aggro shell worked out nicely because these tutors can help get whatever i'm missing or sometimes tutor for like a k command or an urza or some random stuff like that had decent but not great mana didn't really run into huge mana problems but could have and uh, overall, you know, cobbled together combo, got us a nice 2-1, won us the draft. You know, I'll take it, even if I was uh, just, you know, your normal Luris Urza flash deck. But, uh, yeah, you know, you take powerful cards and eventually it comes together. All right, that'll do it for today. I appreciate you hanging out and watching as I waffled between a bunch of combos and ended up in a pretty solid space overall. And uh, we got the 2-1 after all. All right, I'll be back tomorrow with another cube draft, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.